Hello guys, today I am going to show you the program of how to print a non-divisible subset and we are going to print the count of the largest subset which can be acquired. Okay. So uh, I have written everything at first because uh, calculations makes a bit, uh, um, calculations uh, are a little harder to make when uh, you make a video. Okay, it consumes much time. So everything is written at first. So the array is 1, 2, 3, 4. And the element by which the subset should not be divisible is 3 okay so our answer would be 3 because 3 is the uh, maximum count here we get 2 and here we get 3 so 2 uh, sorry so 3 is the maximum count the answer would be 3 so the now I am going to show you how I get 3 okay so we take one array uh, the array is a okay 1 for certain elements we take a second array that is b and uh, we take it as 4 okay because the maximum numbers which can be stored in b is 4 so 4 okay now in the first case first case what we do is in, in b 0 we keep 1 the first element that is 1 that is 1 okay. now 1 is compared that is b0 is compared with 2 with this number with 2 and this gives us 1 plus 2 that is 3 which is divisible by 3 so 2 is ignored again 1 is compared compared with 3 the third element okay. so 1 plus 3 that is 4 which is not divisible ok so uh, 3 is stored in the second uh, position of B here we store 3 because the first position is already occupied so the second position is stored 3 now uh, the array b contains two element that is 1 and 3 now again 1 is compared, sorry, compared with 4 with the last element and this gives us 1 plus 4 which is 5 which is also not divisible so b2 okay uh, which is not divisible now since uh, we have uh, we have two numbers in the array that is 1 and 3 in the array there are two elements now that is 1 and 3 so we should compare 4 with 3 also okay so 3 is compared with 4 which gives us 3 plus 4 that is 7 which is also not divisible okay. so since both the numbers are not divisible by 4 so we can store 4 ok so uh, in b2 we store 4 so now the array contains 1 3 and 4 these are the elements of the array now ok so from here we get that the count is 3 because the array contains 3 elements that is 3 okay. so we get one count that is 3 now in the second case okay, same as above in the second case in b0 we store 2 that is this element now this goes on uh, for the third case we store this fourth case we store this this goes on okay. same as our two is compared with one so one plus two which is three which is of course not divisible 
so simply ignore that again 2 is compared with uh, friends I am not writing everything now because it consumes much time ok now 2 is compared with again 2 is compared with now 3 ok 2 is compared with 3 which gives us 5 so which is uh, not uh, so which is uh, so not divisible ok friends let me tell you that in the first case I did it wrong this is divisible by uh, 3 uh, 3 is divisible by 3 so we ignore this uh, so 5 is not divisible uh, by 3 so uh, we store it in the array same as uh, in the, uh, we did in the first case so in B1 we store now 3 so now the array contains 2 elements it is 2 and 3 the count is 2 now so 2 is again compared with uh, 4 that is the last element and this gives us 6 which is divisible by 3 so uh, simply ignore this so now the array contains 2 element 2 and 3 and we get a count of 2 so since 2 is smaller than 3 so we simply ignore 2 now for the third and fourth cases for the third fourth cases same as ever same as ever in for the third case in b0 in b0 we store 3 and we compare and we get a count of 3 here because the elements should be 1 3 4 again in the fourth case for the fourth case we store b0 in b0 we store 4 and we would get again 1 3 4 which gives us a count of since 3 so since 3 is the maximum count so the answer would be 3 so hope you guys uh, understood uh, something from this video and if you like the video please press the like button in my youtube page also please go through my page that is aliens page aliensplace.com okay thank you guys for watching the video